somebody comes to you and says, uh, Dr. Sori, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, do an over-the-counter uh, fenbendazole or ivermectin treatment regimen. What do you say? I, I guess I'd look back and figure out what the cancer is, what the, what the game plan is, what our standard treatment is, and why they're looking in that direction. If it's a chemotherapy-needed diagnosis, then they'll need to run that through their medical oncologist to make sure that the drug interactions aren't potentially harmful. If it's just radiation alone, most of them come in and say, well, I'm taking this and I'm going to keep taking it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. And generally, it's been well tolerated. I've had a few people stop it for various reasons along the way. My main priority there is to emphasize that taking extra things adds some additional risk. So in prostate, a lot of the guys, we cure 95, 96% of the time. There's little need for extra risk. Again, that's completely different than somebody who has failed five treatments and is now looking at a treatment that the doctor looks at him and says, it might work a third of the time. Those are two very different scenarios. We really need to make sure and prioritize really good treatment uh, when we have good frontline, second line treatments that we know work, that we know improve survival, we can't substitute those things in. 